What's up, everybody? Remember, I told you we're going to be doing a meal prep episode. Um, it's going to be simple. I'm doing the simple part. Kai's going to do his other part, kind of like his little vegetable thingy, majiggy, veg something. I don't know what you, you vegetarian things. I don't, whatever. Um, we are in Ty's kitchen because he's going to do his part. I'm going to do my part. Well, I'm going to do my part. He's going to do his part. We're going to do this, do that, whatever. Just time out. Hit the subscribe button right there. I'm going to wait. Oh yeah, hit the thumb up button too. You done? We ready? Thanks for the support. So today we're going to just go simple as possible. I weigh all my food. I tell people what to do with ounces, how to weigh it, put it together. Uh, we've already made a couple things. We got these, these containers. You can get them um, Amazon, uh, the grocery store, um, restaurant depot thing or whatever it is. Or some of you lazy people who like to eat Chinese food a lot, save these. One or the other. I might have done a lot of Chinese food. Anyways, so you could do fresh vegetables. Um, you could do frozen vegetables. You could do, yes, it's okay to have frozen vegetables. It's not like the end of, oh my God, oh no. <laughs> Shut up, it's okay. So I'm gonna show you how to, so hold on, pause, let me see what he got in here anyways. Let's see what he got. Oh yeah, spinach, you know, Popeye kind of thing. Ugh. I mean, yummy. Uh, we got some, some uh, steam fresh, that thing. Y'all know I can't read. Hey, it's all right to get, we could do, we're gonna do, he's probably gonna do like a smoothie one that you could actually have like frozen vegetables, frozen fruit. Uh, you could do like a smoothie if you want for breakfast. I think some of our meals actually come with smoothies and stuff and whatever and whatnot. We already made some food. We got some food in there. I'm gonna show you how to weigh them. I'm gonna show you how to do simple. I'm trying to just drag it on because it's like only takes like this much to get it done, really. But support us. Oh, and we thought of something. We're gonna start calling you guys T and J family. Cause without you, we ain't gonna get nowhere. And I say this, we are gonna take it up to the next level and be big. Bigger than those Joe Schmo people that all these people follow and shout out us, the little Joe Schmoes, we're gonna rise up. Y'all see this? You know you want this plastered all over the country. Come on. Woo! The world, really. All right. Anyways, so I'm gonna show you how I weigh this, how I do whatever. And during these videos that we're gonna do, I have pictures that's gonna be popping up of some of the meals I did and uh, some of the things I've cooked and he's cooked and we've cooked and put together and do whatever. And let's go. Look at that, huh? First of all, those are good. Don't hate, I ain't make this. So what I use, for scale, digital, this. Listen, you get it at Walmart, Amazon. I know you all are Amazon people, so just get this. Amazon, digital, simple. I don't like some of the ones that um, has a top on it and then it has this little cup and then you put your food for big boys. That's not enough to fill up, okay? So this is much better. You put your plate right on there and it'll zero it out. So let's try it. Let's do it. Let's see what we gonna got. Bam, look at that. It does it itself. Doo -doo -doo. Zero. Oh, guess what? What'd you do? Put it in. Guess what? What'd you do next? Oh, oh, oh. Put it in. Where are we going to? Oh, so this is going to be we're gonna go 5.3. This is gonna be for a female. All right, females, if you try to lose weight, we'll either tell you between four and seven. Depends on where you're at. Guys, 
trying to lose weight or building muscle, you're typically between seven, sometimes six, maybe six, depends on how big you are. I can say fat, because remember, I was fat. Um, probably at six, sometimes at eight, maybe to nine, depends on where you are, how you're structured, how you look. Um, and then cups, you go buy veggies. Your veggies are one cup, two cup, three cup. Some people have four cups. It depends on how skinny that they are and whatever they're doing. Um, carbs, like again, depends on who you are. Uh, you'll go buy half a cup, depends on how much you trying to lose and where you are uh, to one cup. Sometimes a cup, sometimes a cup and a half, almost two cups of carbs. Um, depends on who you are. We always, remember, we write your meals depending on who you are, not just this format. We have a basic format and who you are will change a couple things in it. Then you go off of that and then we'll give you a week and then we readjust it. So there's always a change, not just, here you go, tell me how it works. No, we don't do that. So anyways, you see that? Simple, easy, boom. And then we'll throw some frozen vegetables maybe, but they'll be cooked, just whatever. We're just showing you. Throw your veggies, sometimes you, if you're competing, you also go by weight. So like I said, we're doing basics. All you guys are competing and stuff, you know your things are different, your weights are different. And other people always talk about, oh, what can I season it with? whatever the hell you want we're going with basics now if people tell you oh you can't season it with that it's gonna make you fat tell them to contact me i'll thunder slap them no baby oil either your seasoning salt's good right you need that sodium don't you uh pepper's good it's a metabolism booster yeah whatever uh what garlic really that's fine sriracha all that stuff it's good it's all right you're not gonna eat a half a cup of salt. You're not gonna eat two cups of pepper on a, on a sitting. So tell them stop, you're fine. Season it however you want for the basic people. Um, people who are competing, yes, theirs are different. It goes by where they are and how they body look. We manipulate your sodium, your pepper, your whatever. You guys don't even know about that. That's Technical stuff. Let's keep it simple. Let's keep it all right. And then Ty's gonna show you some whatever things. I told you, this is easy. I'm, I'm done. Whatever. Support us. Support us. Remember, me, you guys. We in this together. Let's get it. Let's get to it. I want over a thousand. Let's do it. Ty's turn. Ah! make that as simple as possible. I mean, kind of great job, Coach Junior. I mean, how the hell can I follow that up? I can figure something out. <laughs> no, um, honestly, I'm gonna do a little bit different. Now, I'm not gonna make this as long. I'm not gonna draw this out. I'm just gonna talk about two things. Uh, one, what nutrition means to me and basically how to basically overcome any type of obstacle when you come down to nutrition. Now, milk, Basically, the whole segment is basically called meal prep, you know, saying how to eat and uh, how to set up everything. Listen, let me just start off what what 
you know, nutrition or what food means to me. Now, food means to me is a art form. Like everything about it, and yes, this is no mystery. I love science. This science in cooking, shit, the science in almost damn near everything that we do. And of course, I will be the one to find science in something because that's just me. But the best thing about nutrition is the fact that is there there's an art and there's science. And literally you put it together. Okay. Without the artistry and the science on how to make things work to pair together, we don't really have food. Now, there's a word that I want people to research, microbiotics and micronutrients, okay? I will put the word below, don't worry about that. Like I said, it's microbiotics and micronutrients. These are the key factors that you're gonna need for your overall health, okay? Not a lot of people talk about it, not a lot of people even know about it. So I will put a, a, a link below so you can go research and stuff like that. But now, for me, food is art, food is science. There's an inside joke saying that, you know, I don't cook. For the most part, I don't. But um, that's not saying that I don't know how to cook. I know how to cook very well. You know, in my younger years, I would say I actually, I went to Florida probably in early 2000. Oh, sorry, yeah, early 2000. Um, my brother is in Jacksonville, Florida. My older brother, um, Chef Antonio. That's out to Chef Antonio. Um, he is a professional chef. I don't know if he has a Michelin star or not, but um, I could I could definitely double check. But um, I studied under him for three and a half years. Now let me let me give you or let me paint a picture of what it looks like. Now, do you know who Chef Ramsey is? I'll put his picture. Don't worry. Uh, think about a black Chef Ramsey, and that's my brother. <laughs> Phenomenal guy phenomenal guy he is a doctor in the kitchen and i say that because he takes time to perfect everything that he do it is a art it's a science when it comes down and i learned just by studying under him and watching him perform and how he plays with the dish is like it is magic he makes art come alive but also tastes real good and that's what food means to me. But I also learned before I even came on this path, because at that time I was probably about like 19 years old. Uh, I didn't know about nutrition. I didn't know about microbiotics. I didn't know about micronutrients and stuff like that. I didn't know anything. Shit, I, I, I didn't know anything about food. I was just eating just to be eating. And um, once I got one, he, he taught me, and I mean, he taught me a lot about nutrition and understanding what protein is. And I mean, obviously I'm a teenager. I mean, I took in as much as I wanted to take in because at the time I was arrogant. I thought I, I knew it all. But over time, I started to listen and truly listen and truly invest and understand what do these mean? And understanding that a lot of people believe that animals our, our sense of protein. Listen, let me just clarify that. A protein is basically a plant, a plant molecule. It comes from plant. The animal that you are consuming or ingesting, sorry, probably ate a vegetarian or a vegan animal that consume only fruits and vegetables for the whole entire life. So it's obviously consuming all of it at once. And then now that animal that just ate that other animal with all the protein factor is being slaughtered and put on your table so yes animal protein has a high value because over a long period of time whatever that that animal or that carnivore ate it's consuming all of its nutrients all at once and we are doing the same exact thing it's it's just like a cycle that goes from the ground from the ground a animal consumes it and then another animal eats it and then we eat that so we eat in everything in a cycle we can bypass all that shit and just go straight to just the um, source some of us do it some of us don't and i'm not knocking anybody okay you can pick whatever avenue that you want any avenue doesn't matter it there's benefits on both sides of the spectrum. Me personally, I, I like more of the fruits and vegetables personally. I don't like what meat pretty much does to me. It, it, it makes me feel tired. 
makes me feel sluggish, gassy, bloated, just tired, like just overall heavy. Like I don't like that feeling. I need to eat to perform. And that's another thing. Number two, what I want to talk about, who is fuel? That's it. That's the only thing that you should know. You should be eating to perform your everyday tasks. If you're not doing that, and there's, there's a joke that I, I, I make with people. If you're sitting on a couch, you shouldn't be eating because you ain't doing shit. But if you out and about, you are putting out energy, yeah, consume. But don't consume everything underneath the sun. Eat for your performance level. If you're walking, you eat in moderation. If you're running, you need a little bit more. If you're working out one time a week, you need a little bit more consumption. Two times a week, such or such. It, it keeps growing based off of your performance level. Now, you want to know what is your performance level versus how much you're eating. That's where you come to a health professional like myself or Coach Junior to figure out what do that look like. Junior can definitely make it as simple as possible. I will break down your microbiotics, that word again, micronutrients, again, on everything. And I won't have you counting calories. I won't have you depriving yourself from food, but I will show you what you put in your body based off of what you want to do. I will show you how to perform in your everyday life and maybe subtract certain things and add some things that you're not getting to help you live better and help you perform better. These are the key things that we all need to understand. Food is fuel. That's it. Now, Junior showcased uh, or showed y'all the kitchen. Okay. I'm not going to do that. I'm the science guy. So I'm just going to stick to my album. Me being me. <laughs> I'm going to give you a lot of information or information on nutrition. I gave y'all two words to research. I need y'all to research that and really understand what that means. Okay. We need to, and when I mean we, the United States as a whole, need to start eating more of fruits and vegetables. Instead of eating more animal-based products, you need to eat more fruits and vegetables. A balance needs to be had because we are still the number one leading in obesity in the world. So that goes to show us we suck at nutrition. But... It starts with you. If you want to change that, if shit, if you want to change just your habit, I challenge you for one week, just one week, increase your fruits and vegetable intake. And I promise you, you will see a difference. Rather you sleep better, you perform better in or out of the bedroom. And I'm being serious. Rather you have more clarity in your everyday life Rather that you don't have that three o'clock, you know, crash that most people have. I'm telling you, increase your fruits and vegetables. Still get your protein. You didn't hear me say decrease your protein. Still get your protein. But understand, you know, you don't need to have 200 something grams of protein. Just want to make that very clear. <laughs> you don't need to have that much of protein because the majority of the protein that you ingested, you're probably going to shit it out it, basically anyway. Your body can only consume so much of protein before it gets rid of it. So this is some free advice real quick. Anything over 50 to 75 grams of protein is useless. Just want to let you know that. Okay. You're just literally shitting it out. It's, it's not going to do nothing. And that men and women, depending on your body type, it might be 75 or it might be 50. Now, a lot of people won't tell you that because they want to push high protein, high protein, protein this, protein that, protein this. Protein, listen, protein is in every fucking thing that you ingest from your fruits, your vegetables, and everything else. All right, so don't worry about being protein deficiency. I promise you won't be slacking on protein. What you might be slacking on is your fruits and vegetables. So again, Try one week with increasing your fruits and vegetables, and I promise you, it would definitely make a difference. 
and make sure you comment or send me some you know some updated stuff on what what you saw whether it's your sleep your performance i don't really need to know what you're doing in the bedroom so please don't send me that i don't care but tell me about your sleeping tell me about your overall energy tell me what you're doing in the gym did you notice a increase in your lift your your endurance went up like listen i can tell you about myself Ever since that, I actually watched the documentary of The Game Changer. I, I recommend that a lot of people watch that. My performance level as, you know, basically cardiovascular or basically my endurance has went through the roof. Like there's a, a actual air runner in the studio. I could only do maybe a mile on it. Said so I did four miles on that nonstop. And that's unheard of for me. <laughs> Cause that shit is horrible. If anybody has or even tried a air runner before, you know how horrible that is. To be on that shit for four miles, and the only reason why I actually stopped at four miles, cause I got bored. I'm just like, shit, I mean, I'm running in place, so I got bored. But enough about that. Listen, one week, fruits and vegetables increases. Let me know before I cut out like I always do. Tell a friend to tell a friend, tell your cousin, tell your aunt, tell your brother, tell everybody shit, tell your cat and your dog, tell everybody. If you know somebody that needs to hear this and see this, share this with them and thank you for rocking with us. Thank you for all the support. Make sure you hit that subscribe button plus that notify um, bell or basically thumbs up. And um, until next time, I'll talk to you.